Yeah. I think that's so critical uh, that Pennsylvania businesses buy Pennsylvania products. I mean, uh, Mr. Pashinsky earlier talked about uh, uh, buy Pennsylvania. I'm 100% agreeing with that. But we need to make sure that our people here in Pennsylvania, our grocery stores, are giving that option to uh, the people who are walking into that store every day. And so Giant Foods and their commitment to the Pennsylvania cheeses is amazing. And I hope some of our other retailers in Pennsylvania, like Weiss's and others, will commit to the same thing, mm -hmm. uh, purchasing Pennsylvania cheese and focusing on Pennsylvania cheeses. Uh, Caputo Brothers in, in uh, Spring Grove, Pennsylvania, York County, uh, has done a lot to save dairy farms in York County. Uh, my hats are off to them. And, and Mr. Secretary, I've been really pleased to see this year, uh, and particularly recently in a CFA meeting, I think we uh, created a funding, a marketing, I believe, funding for the cheese industry. Am I correct? Yes, you did. I mean, you, you did another uh, round of dairy proposals, so 76 total in the last year. So I, I think that's a, a long way. The other thing that I just want to talk a little bit uh, about the whole Horseman's Fund you know, and we talked earlier, you said it earlier, we, we don't like to pick winners and losers, and I don't disagree with you on that. But we've done a lot here in the General Assembly this past year for the dairy industry. I'm not sure we've done enough, in all honesty. But not one dollar of the horse raising fund dollars are going to go into the dairy industry. And so I don't think you can compare dairy versus horse racing unless you're going to take that money and do something for the dairy industry. And the second thing I point out, I'm very happy to see the FFA here today, is that probably not one of those students, not one of those students who's going into agriculture is going to benefit from that $200 million going into scholarships because Del Val's not getting any. Mm -hmm. Penn State's not getting any. So those industries, those students who are going into agriculture aren't going to get a single dollar coming out of the agriculture industry. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about literally how do we, we, we need to keep, as you know, Chairman Causer and I are totally committed to the agriculture industry and whatever it needs to do. But as the Chairman Bradford stated here, we are finding it very difficult for young people to buy farms today. And that's not the only area in agriculture, as you well know. It can be harness making. Uh, we talked about hemp earlier in these hearings. There's so many different parts of agriculture that we, many times, who haven't been in the farm uh, our, in our entire life or any part of our life, have no idea how agriculture every day, not just the food on our table, touches our lives. And I think that's sometimes very underestimated. And real concern that I have that we will lose our agricultural industry as the number one industry if we don't, again, Quit hitting it up and making choices between one industry versus another. All parts of agriculture are important and critical here in Pennsylvania, from clothing to whatever it may be. And I think the hemp industry is going to offer us some great job opportunities in the future, uh, whether it's in clothing or whatever it is. So I, I just, you know, I know you've been hit with the hammer with this <clears throat> announcement. Uh, but I do think as we go forward, we, I think Chairman Bradford's correct, that we do need to discuss about student debt. Uh, that's another discussion for the Department of Ed to discuss. But I do think that we have to be careful that we aren't stealing from one industry to benefit another. We, all, we need to have these serious discussions, but we need to have them in a way that we're all included in that discussion. Okay. So I thank you today for uh, what you've done for agriculture and your hard work and dedication and that of your staff, and look forward to working with you as we go through this budget process. Yes.